Hey dolls! So this is my November favourites. Like literally, I can't believe November is almost over. It's really super weird, like unusual weird. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just get straight into it because I've got a few things I want to show you guys. Um, so the first thing I have been loving this month would come as no surprise. Um, so I'm finally gonna talk about this these bits um because i wanted to put them in my favorites a while ago and then i thought no i'll wait until i finish the process um so these are proactive um so yes these are now in my favorites video video and i've also got a video that's out or coming out i believe it should be already out um on how i use this stuff so i was kind enough to be accepted to help run the social media campaign for proactive skin um, and this was to use the three step system um, from proactive now three step system is the skin smoothing elixir which is basically a face cleanser the pore targeting treatment which is like a facial gel and the complexion perfecting hydrator which is a facial moisturizer and it also came with a free sample of the skin purifying mask facial mask so I absolutely love this stuff I've never I've always wanted to try proactive and back in May when I went to Beautycon I was I received two of the um, facial masks and I absolutely love them um, but then I got sent this kit and I really saw the difference in my skin. Um, you probably can see there's an issue with my skin at the moment, but that's because of hormones, so I'm trying to sort that out as fast as I can. But basically, you use step one, which I absolutely love. This is a facial scrub. Um, it really kind of deeply scrubs your face. Um, you only need like a coin size amount. Um, so I put it on my fingers and you rub it in for a couple of minutes um, you then take your pore treatment which is this gel which literally you need a pea size amount that can cover your entire face um, but it does dry pretty quickly so you've got to move quite quickly um, and obviously the moisturiser I use a bit more than a pea size even though it says use a pea size I don't feel like it covers my entire face um, if you can see this I did get like um, purple shampoo on it so that's not good um, but this face mask is so strange because you can use it as a face mask twice a week which helps immensely but you can also use it as an emergency overnight spot treatment um, where you just literally put some on your finger and dab it onto the areas you need it for me they dry out super quickly in the morning they're really far down they're pretty much healed up so yes I had to mention this because now I've pretty much finished it I think I've got like a f two weeks left um, while I'm filming this so I think when this comes out I'll I'll have finished or I'll be on my last week so yeah this stuff is amazing so I mean if you have problem with blemishes and acne like I do I usually get it like around here um, and I used to get it like pretty much like this whole section of face but now like I literally might get a couple here and a couple there and that's literally about it. It's amazing how much this stuff has improved my skin. I feel like I notice it more. My skin is much more smoother, pores are much more smaller, like foundation, like application of foundation and makeup and things is so much more easier. So I absolutely love this stuff. So there's no wonder that it's finally in my favorites. Next is the Kaiko Scrub and Peel Wipes. Now these are a new try and I have to say I really do like them. Um, these have kind of a pebbly side and soft side so when I feel like really scaly and like I feel like my facial scrub hasn't quite got rid of it or when I literally come in and scrub and like want to wipe my makeup off but haven't yet done my facial routine for the evening. I'll wipe it off with one of these just to further get off some of the dead skin it they really do work um, they are very nice on the skin and the soft side is very very soft they don't dry out because of this kind of foil packaging 
and they've also got this kind of obviously they've got flat and then they've got this extra bit here just to keep them moist which i absolutely love so i just i can't get enough of these next is the urban decay naked skin weightless ultra high ultra definition liquid makeup which is the foundation and mine is in the shade 0.5 I love this stuff. It's so light on the skin and very, very easily blended um, and has decent coverage, which I think is amazing. Like, if I want to look a bit more glamorous, I will always grab this one because it's just really nice. And obviously, it's got a pump with it and it blends out so well. And you know, I was worried because, like, I have the concealer and I feel like that highlights a lot of areas and because this has exactly the same makeup I thought mm, is it gonna like enhance like areas I don't want to be enhanced and it doesn't it just makes it like flawless skin it's beautiful next is the Laura Mercier loose setting powder in translucent um, I love this stuff I know why everyone raves about it why everyone uses it it's just a loose translucent powder that is great for setting under the eyes you just pour a bit into the little top and you're good to go and a little goes a long way because it's very very fine setting powder so like literally I can sprinkle some in there dab my brush in tap it off and then just sweep under my eyes and they literally are powdered good to go and it lasts I'm pretty matte for a good half a day um, I wouldn't say I'm fully matte, but that's because I'm oily skinned, so I obviously have issues with it anyway. Um, but this stuff is amazing. And to apply that, I've been loving my Bare Minerals Seamless Shaping Finishing Brush, which is like this, kind of tapered at the end, and it's round, and it fits perfectly under the eye, and the point is great for getting right close to the lashes. Um, I don't just use this for under my eyes, sometimes if I'm... I don't want to get another powder out, I'll just use the same translucent powder and just spread it across my face. And like, it doesn't cling to this brush, like my other brushes, powder clings to it, but this one, it doesn't really cling, which is great. And it doesn't move foundation, which is a plus, because you, I find that sometimes with certain brushes, um, it might move foundation slightly and get all clogged up in the brush. So this is like my number one combo. Next is the MAC Prep and Prime Pen in Light Boost. This, I can't believe it's taken me this long to give it a go and love it. Um, I feel like I have to work faster with it though. For some reason, like it seeps into my skin and like half disappears by the time. If I do both under eyes at the same time, obviously you do one and then go to the other and this one's like half disappeared. So I like to do it in stages. So I do one eye, wait, blend it out, do the other eye and blend it out and it's just so easy like literally I will use two twists because I find that one twist manages to do my whole under eye area and the little leftover bit of a twist helps to do the bridge in the nose, the forehead, my chin and my cupid's bow so. The next is the MAC pigment in Melon, oh my god I've used this so much. Um, it just looks like this. Obviously you spritz makeup brush with Fix Plus, dab a little bit in, and sweep it across the eyes. It's amazing. It makes all eyeshadows look glamorous. I just, I can't get enough of this guy. It's amazing. Next is this. Um, this is actually professional, I benefit. Um, but I finished up a pot and I literally could not squeeze any more out. And I thought, I always see these things on YouTube where like they show you how much product is actually left inside um, when you think you've finished. And this is how, or I've been using this for a while now and there was loads left in it. I couldn't believe it. Like I, if I, all the other ones that I've thrown away, if I'd done the same thing, I probably would have like a full pot of it. So and you only need a tiny tiny amount anyway so I'm definitely got to do that to more things like I've got a concealer I need to cut open just to scrape out the rest so yeah I've also been loving this NARS lipstick in Joyous Red and this comes in the NARS Stephen Klein Killer Heels lipstick collection now this is a mini lipstick and I absolutely love this shade um, it's kind of a nudish red um, it's not too bright, let's watch it 
just looks like this it's very pretty on the lips you don't there is shimmer in there but you don't notice it at all when it's on the lips or on my hand um, it's it's a nice shade for autumn for me purely because I feel like more winter time I can wear like the dark plummy reds and the berry shades whereas autumn I feel like it isn't yet dark and cold enough to like rock that full-on lip for me personally because I'm so pale um, and I've still got my slight tan as well so it looks a bit odd at the moment but I think this is great as a kind of transitional shade from summer to winter so this is literally my lip colour for the whole of autumn and my final beauty product is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit oh, I love this uh, this is the first time I've ever used Hourglass and can I just say, I am now a massive, massive fan of this stuff. This kit comes with um, three normal powders and two blushes and a bronzer. Now, the bronzer, fabulous. It's I don't use it for contour because I find it too fine as a contour, but as an overall like blending out my contour, it is fabulous. It's great on my temples and like carving out my face. The blushes are fab. If you want just a light subtle blush, go for the darker one. If you want just like a, a light flesh um, bright colour, go for the brighter one. Um, and then it's got these facial powders, which is diffused light, dim light and iridescent light. Iridescent light is new, uh, or these two are new in, in a kind of palette shade. You can buy these separately, I believe, but you can't buy them as the sets um, unless you buy this one. Um, so I like to use this as a highlight underneath my eyes, I like to use this like down the bridge of my nose. I tend to go for this one more there um, because I find like it a bit more darker for my skin. But they are slightly smaller than the three, three quad um, palettes but I think this is perfect because I'm not going to use it like every single day and though I say that and I've used it quite a lot November so. Uh, there's not much I can say. I absolutely love this product. So that's all my beauty favourites. I'm just going to show you a couple of random favourites. Now my first random favourite is an audiobook on Audible. Or technically it's not a book as much of it is a person. Now I am I've really got bored of listening to music, especially when I'm travelling. I've now decided, like, I will watch films sometimes if I've got my tablet, but if not, I've got my Audible book. And I've been loving David Attenborough's life stories at the moment. I've read or I've listened to Life Stories, the first one, and I'm now on New Life Stories. Because it's him that reads it, it's kind of calming and soothing because his voice is so nice. I absolutely love Sir David Attenborough. I met him once and like, he was amazing. He's so sweet. Um, so I absolutely love listening to his voice. Um, and I learned something as well, which is so weird, like to be able to spend like, I don't know, an hour on the train listening to his audiobook and then learning something. It's unusual and weird and really nice because I get to tell people all these facts. So it's kind of, it, he go every chapter is a different subject which is great because then you know what he's going to be talking about um, there was a whole chapter on eyebrows and it was all to do with the expression that is the universal language like your facial expression so you could talk to someone who isn't who's never spoken before just by using your like facial language like oh i'm happy to see you oh i don't really like you or i'm confused or stuff like that so I think it's fabulous like listening to his book. I've only actually got 35 minutes left of his the only other or the last book of his and then I've got all these other books I have to read. I'm thinking I might start Jurassic Park but I'm not 100% sure but I've started like a bunch of them anyway. Um, so yes I absolutely love my Audible. It's so handy. Um, and the last thing Amazon Prime with a little flashing light for some reason on my phone. Um, but basically I made a mistake. I didn't realise that by clicking, well, I was trying to order something on Amazon and I wanted to see if it, what would happen, or not what would happen, uh, what it would do for the price range if I clicked on Prime. 
rather than like next day delivery and stuff like that. I clicked on Prime and instead of it coming up to on a page that said like sign up, um, it actually signed me up automatically. Um, so yeah, um, so that was a bit of a mistake that I made. However, being that I get a month free anyway, um, I thought I would utilise this and start using Amazon Prime videos. Uh, I have really liked the fact that I can watch videos on my laptop while I'm doing my work. Um, the only downside is there are a lot of things that I would love to watch on there or catch up on and you have to pay. It's like the first season of Pretty Little Liars because I did used to watch it and then because of my schedule and things I didn't manage to get to watch anymore and now that it's ended I thought oh I could watch the first season surely it will be on there and it's like you have to pay three pounds just to rent one episode it's like that's a really expensive I don't know whether that's because of the licensing issues with like being able to give them for free but it's okay because there's still plenty of films that I can watch. I've watched a whole bunch. The only thing I have found is I cannot watch them on my tablet or my phone, which is really super annoying. There is an app you can download for free through Amazon. I did that and I still couldn't watch anything. So I don't know whether there's an issue with that or not, but basically I found I can only watch it through my laptop or obviously if you buy the fire stick you can watch it on TV. That is literally all of my November favourites. The next favourites video isn't going to be a December favourites, it's actually going to be my 2015 favourites. This is so weird to say this because like I can't believe that this year is almost finished, it's so crazy. I am going to try and contribute to Vlogmas this year. I know last year I did like at the end of every week I did kind of a mashup. I'm going to try and do a bit more than I did last year, but I really have no idea. Obviously, I've got uni and stuff, other things we're doing. I am hopefully going away for Christmas, not abroad, don't worry about that one, but like um, to see family, but that is literally Christmas Eve. But yeah, I don't 100% know what I am going to be doing or anything like that, but I am going to try and contribute to Vlogmas this year. Also, I'm going to try and not have like a massive break I did last year because that like really screwed me over. Like I was so confused with what I was doing. I hope to see you in my next video and um, subscribe if you like me and want to see more of me um, and leave a comment down below what you thought and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!